because I know war. War never changes. Hey you crazy pups, it's me crazy with cacti, and welcome to a first, first, I mean I've tried to do reviews before, mostly on my other channel, but yeah, but I haven't really done a game review, I was going to for Red Dead 2 when it first came out, which was fuck a long time ago, I mean not that long ago actually, now that I think about it. it was only two years ago, well no, a year and a half ago, almost two years, but here we are, and I'm doing a review of The Witcher 3, because I just finished this game, I know, five years later, wait, 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 how, how's it been five years, let me, let, me, let me check. Okay, just checked, it's been five years, exactly, five, well not exactly five years, but I'm fuck, maybe I, maybe I should save this video for next year, never mind, um, so, I finished it like a week ago, and have not done the DLCs yet. Thought about honestly playing the DLCs before I reviewed this game, but I don't know. But, uh, so, the main story is what this video is about. I might talk a bit about The Witcher show on Netflix, because I watched that too, like, while I was in the middle of the game. So, yeah. So, there's some... <laughs> Some st a lot of stuff I want to talk about in this game. First off, Geralt of Rivia. Great character. G g great, great, great character. He's he's fucking great. And um, let's see who else we got. Yennefer Vangerberg. Is that how you say that? I don't fucking know. Um, she's great too. I probably should have said Siri second, but fuck it. Third character, Siri. Now Siri was fucking lit to play as in her missions, first of all. And the Siri missions were just fun, and I hope there's more in the DLCs, but I doubt it. But the ending, I oh yeah, let me mention. I probably already put it, but spoilers. Sp just, just spoilers for the story. If you haven't played it, you've had five years. Somehow I went into this game blind. So I was expecting this game to be a lot like Assassin's Creed and Skyrim. Like Assassin's Creed 2, maybe. Probably. More like, or... Hmm. Yeah, basically like... Oh, let's not talk about that. Basically like AC2 and like uh, Skyrim had like a child. That's what I thought this was going to be. But no, I can't really... It would feel weird to compare it to like any other game. But... Yeah, so, the story was just amazing. So, it started out, it's a little slow in the beginning, I'll admit that. In fact, it may or may not have taken me four months to get into this game. <laughs> the beginning was a little slow. But after I got to Vellum, I think, don't know why it took me four months to get to Vellum. Because now I'm on my second playthrough and... I'm fucking already about to find Siri, and it's only been like, I started it Saturday? Last Saturday? Uh, yeah, last Saturday. Was it last? I'm pretty, pretty sure it was last Saturday, it was... No, it might have been Monday. This Monday. It's Monday now, so it was a week ago. And I'm already about to find Siri. I was planning on beating it faster, but I had a, a other shit to do, obviously. I can't just play The Witcher non-stop. <laughs> but, yeah. Now, before I continue this review, it's time to answer the age-old question. This person? Or this person? Uh, uh, I can't. I feel like I'm going to get roasted if I choose one or the other. Well,
there's only one thing I knew about this game. Well, okay, there was a couple things, but I knew Siri was a thing. I didn't know what she could do. I knew, I just thought she was a witcher, like everybody. Sorry, I'm, I get thirsty when I talk for a while. <laughs> I thought she was a witcher, like everyone else. Like, just every other witcher. But I guess she wasn't. But I I didn't know much about her. I just knew she existed. I knew Geralt. I knew Geralt was a pretty big character. I mean, obviously, he's like the main character. I knew Yennefer and Triss, of course. I... I didn't... I only knew of one part of one ending. And... It was like the the ending. I was just warned by one of my friends that have finished the game. He loved it. He told me, don't try to be with Yennefer and Triss, which I didn't try to do. He just told me that what would happen, so I don't do it. And... <sighs> Needless to say... Yeah, I, 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 I got the ending. Uh, I didn't even mean to. Okay, so now's the part where I tell you. <sighs> okay, so this is how it happened. So I'm just going to tell you now. This, this person. Okay, I'm just going to say. I chose Triss instead of Yennefer. But, originally I was going to choose Yennefer, and then I realized Yennefer wasn't very, n well, it's not that she wasn't nice, she just, like, I just didn't like her that much after I already, like, said they were going to be together, and then after you say you're going to be together, there's no going back. And then I realized, but Triss is, like, so much nicer, and, like, then I was gonna see, hope there was an option that I could just, like, tell Yennefer, no, I don't want you anymore. But then, I realized there wasn't an option that said that. But I did reject every time she tried to do something with Geralt. And, yeah, that's, that's how that happened. <laughs> but that's yeah I was hoping to get the Triss ending but then yeah so to continue fuck I don't even know where to go next um well fuck uh uh this was probably my reaction when I realized what was happening. So yeah, I knew that was gonna if I fucked it what was the point of censoring, just taking the time to censor their fucking underwear if I just said fuck it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know. It doesn't matter. I already took the time to do it. So I'll just fucking won't do it because I'm probably gonna show the image again. So <laughs> So this is probably my reaction when I realized what was about to happen. Uh, oh, fuck. But, yeah. Now, before I continue this review, um, I feel like there's something that needs to be addressed. No, really not. I don't have a big audience, so there's no point, and nobody's going to comment this. But... For people watching in the future, if I ever do get big on YouTube, which, uh, not expecting that, but, hmm, hope so. It would be nice. Uh, let's talk about this. I don't mind it. I, I don't think Triss looks bad in the show, like some people. I don't hate her. I don't, I mean, I don't really care how she looks. I wouldn't say I like the version of Triss that's in the the show. It's not her look. Her look is fine. In fact, her look's fucking great. There. I don't even care. It's just... 
her personality. I'm not sure if her personality was like this in the books. I've never read them. Maybe one day. But uh, her personality is just not like Triss. I don't even care that she's British. I don't. I don't. I don't care about anything like that stuff or English. I don't. I don't. I don't care. It's just her personality feels off, and obviously, I know she's a side character, so she's not really a big, big character in the game. Which neither. I mean, not in the game, in the show. Which neither is. She's not really that big of a character. I mean, she is a pretty big character in the game. Definitely bigger than in the show. But, I mean, I didn't, I'm just trying to say I didn't hate how she looked in the show. I just, it's a way of putting this lightly. I didn't like her personality. I, I hated her personality. Well, I didn't hate her personality. But I hated it for Triss. Well, I didn't hate it for Triss. But I just, it it wasn't like Triss. It, um, again, her look was fine, but... It's just the personality wasn't like Triss's personality that much. I mean, a bit. But from what I get from the games, it's not, not that much alike from her personality in the games. Everything else about the show... Okay, no, that's not true. I would always choose this theory before this theory. I didn't like... <laughs> I mean, the actress who played Siri did good in the show. In the show, yeah. I just, <sighs> I didn't really like her parts. I mean, they were important, yeah. But I was really, like, wow, thunder. I was really bored. Sorry to hear that thunder. I was really bored. And every time Siri shut, this isn't a fucking Witcher show review. Comment down below if you want to. Damn, that thunder is wiling out. Is that thunder? Yeah, that's thunder. Comment down below if you want a Witcher show review. Mm, but I'll just put up my... I guess I'll put in a review of the Witcher show a bit. <laughs> Not a big one, but this will be short. So, it was good. I liked Geralt. I liked Yennefer. They're both really good in the show. Um, Yeah. My favorite character was the Askier. <laughs> Same thing in the game. I mean, Dandelion. I should say for the game. But. Um. Siri. Back to Siri. I didn't. Love her. Like. I like the actress. She seems like she'll be good in the future. Just for now. I didn't really. Didn't really like how. I didn't like most of the series parts. They felt dragged on. And I mean th they were good up until she got to like yeah, pretty much until like after she left that one camp, after they fucking got murdered all oh, like, the entire camp. It was I mean the forest, forgot what it was called. It was I heard it's more it's better in the books. For the forest place, but yeah, I heard the books does better for the the forest place or whatever that place is called. I didn't like it that much in the show. It just felt also dragged on. But after she pretty much, I didn't after episode two, Siri, I think it was. Was it episode two or episode three where she left the camp? I don't remember. But the point is, she was. <sighs> I didn't really care about her story up until episode 8, again. I mean, the, no, 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 nothing to the actress, but I just didn't care about... I'm more taking a jab at the writers, which they did good for the rest of the show. I just didn't like series parts that much. They just felt dragged on. But everything else, other than series parts, were just... Okay, maybe not everything. It felt like... After episode 6, it really felt like Geralt was really a side character, sort of. It just... I mean, they wanted Yennefer front and center for everything. But it wasn't... It's Yeah, I didn't like that that much. In episode 8, I didn't like how he was just like... I mean, I didn't dislike episode 8 or episode 7. And I don't dislike Yennefer either. It's just, I wanted more Geralt. I didn't really want him... 
I mean, it's a show called The Witcher. I don't want to see The Witcher's companions shine more than The Witcher. I'm sure that'll change in season two, I hope. And the timeline is just bad. Just don't get me started on the, the timeline. Just, just don't. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, the show was good. That's to sum it up. I'll, and as I was saying, no hate to the actress. She did, she did good as Siri. It's just her parts were boring. Also, one thing I hate, I gotta, I can't really jab the actress for it because you know they casted her and they said her age, but she does not at all look eleven or twelve or thirteen or whatever they're trying to play her off as. She doesn't look that. I mean, she could look 15, but I'm pretty sure it was 11, because Geralt said he wasn't there for 12 years, and if, I can, if you do the math, she would be, like, around 11 or 12, but, yeah, it was just, it was just, she didn't look, she doesn't, I'm sure I'm showing a picture on screen right now, she doesn't look 12 or 11, she looks, I mean, the actress they hired was 17, but hey, at least they won't have the Stranger Things situation where they have to keep time jumping because the kids are aging. Because she's 17 already, I guess. I don't know. But back to the game. Back to the game. <laughs> so I love the story. I love the way it ended. I loved the character arcs for everyone. It felt like they were all wrapped up except really Geralt because I'm going to assume they wrapped that up. Excuse me. They wrap up his story arc in the, the DLCs. And, well, not everybody's just really series and, like, dandelions. I did the side quest. That technically isn't a part of the main story. But most of the side quests for the characters. Also, yeah, another thing. The reason I played this game was because I was excited for Cyberpunk and I wanted to play The Witcher because everybody told me, oh, they make really good games, you should play The Witcher. Probably never going to play The Witcher 2 or 1. I would have to, I mean, if PS5 is backwards compatible to PS3 and 2 and 1, I'll probably play The Witcher 2 because I know that's on P it was on PS3, but I know the first Witcher was on PS, or just on PC. I don't know if I, I maybe one day, maybe one day. But, yeah, I want to play The Witcher 2 and 1. It's just, I don't really have a way to play them. I mean, I could get them on my computer, but I definitely am not like Henry Cavill and built a gaming PC this last week. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I don't say I'm good. I would love to, but I just don't have the money for that. And I don't really need a gaming PC if I already have a PS4. I mean... I could use one, but I'd probably just use it for playing games that I can't play on PS4. So that's just, like, not really useful. That would be like buying an Xbox for fucking, like, that would be like buying an Xbox for Halo. I don't have the money for that, so. But, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, The Witcher 3, sum it up, it was a... Mm. I loved it. It was a great game. Uh, I felt... Uh, it's really good in an RPG or just a game in general. If you feel for the characters. And I felt for most of the characters. And by most of them, I mean... All the good characters. I could... Really give less of a shit about... I mean... No, not really. There was no characters that I didn't, I didn't give a shit about. Well, there was, but... Not really the main characters, but I loved all the characters. My favorite was Dandelion, and <laughs> the ending of the game. Needless to say, I went from um, Story and the Sword to Death March in the middle of, like, right before the Battle of Kaer Morhen. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And <laughs> it wasn't terribly as difficult as I thought it would be. I don't know why I switched to Death March mid-story, like, re literally at the ending. It wasn't terrible, but <laughs> it wasn't easy. Also, one if I had to say anything about the game... Any, I mean, there's bad things about the game, like fucking Roach. 
Roach is just... I mean, Roach is good most of the time. But then those times where it spawns so fucking far... Or it... Where... Is Roach a guy or a girl? I don't fucking know. But where... They fucking... With, where Roach spawns, like, all the way... Like... They try to spawn it far away from you so that they don't... You don't see it spawn in, but, like... But then it'll just get stuck on fences on the way over there and just not come to you, so you'll have to end up walking anyway. Uh, anything else that I got to say about this game? Um, I don't use Arden, is what it's called? I don't know. The magic trap, I don't... I, I don't know. I don't use it. I don't even know. I'm not even sure what it does. I mean, I... Uh, doesn't it slow the opponent down? I don't fucking know or really care. I just use really Quinn me and Ard. That's pretty much it. Then again, those are like the main spells. So, or the signs, I should say. But, yeah. <laughs> so, overall, I love this game. I love the characters. It's honestly... Would be in my top five games. If not my number one game of all time. It's just that good. I would highly suggest playing it if you haven't. But, oh, yeah, I was gonna say something. The final boss battle, and I played it on Death March for some reason. I do plan to replay the game completely on Death March. Um, but the final boss battle, I'm just saying, the, the second to last boss battle was harder than the final boss battle. I wouldn't say I didn't like that, I just, it was strange, but yeah, it was, it was kind of, it, it, it wasn't bad, it was fine, but, <laughs> I wouldn't say it was great, it, I mean, the final boss battle was fucking lit, and I'm glad it wasn't hard, but it got irritating, <laughs> it got irritating for the fucking ice fucker, and just, ugh. That was, that was bad. That was fucking terrible. <laughs> but, before I drag this video on any longer, oh, before I end the video, I need to add one more thing. Well, two more things, technically, but the, before I do the rev full-on review. But, Gwen, I still don't know how to play it. I plan, before I finish my Death March playthrough, which will be my last playthrough for a while. It won't be my last playthrough, but it'll be like... I hope to have it finished before Cyberpunk, because I'm probably going to play keep playing the game on every difficulty. So currently mine is on... Well, I started the game on normal. So I'm going to go to Hard Net, or Blood and Broken Bones. And then I'll go to um, Death March for a fucking, yeah, I'll go to Death March after I'm done with Blood and Broken Bones. So, I hope to have that wrapped up by the time Cyberpunk comes out. I want to learn Gwent also before Cyberpunk comes out, because it's kind of confusing. But I'm sure I'll learn it one day, because it's like, I'm pretty sure it's a really, really, really big thing. But, <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out one day. So, to sum up this game, I'm going to give it A 9.9 9 out of 10. I might as well just give it a 10 out of 10. You know, fuck it. 10 out of 10. Great game. Amazing game. Just a fucking masterpiece. CD Projekt Red. I can't wait to see what you do in the future with Cyberpunk and the next Witcher game that I'm pretty sure they're making. You did great. And, yeah. I, mm, this game was amazing. Now, before I drag this video on any longer, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see a, if you want me to make videos on the DLCs blind because I haven't played them yet. And well, comment down below if you want me to play them blind. Well, I'm gonna play them blind, obviously. But comment down below if you want me to like make a video out of it. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and until the next video, also tell me if you want to see more reviews, but until the next video, yeah, stay frosty, I guess, <laughs> and, um, best Aloha gang.
that's all I need to say. Is there's def if if you watch this video full way through, you'll see some shit about well, Vesta Aloha Gang. <laughs> so here's your Vesta Aloha Gang season three teaser. I'm not making a trailer for it this summer. Um, I might release a separate video like a week before it comes out, but yeah. Well, a week before season three comes out, which I'm not quite sure when it's coming out yet, but it's coming out soon. I promise you guys that. Soon. Very, very, very soon. Within, it, uh, I want to say August. I don't know why I'm saying it. By the time I'm done editing this video, it'll be up on the screen, which day I decide to release it. But yeah. Season 3 of Best Aloha Gang. Enjoy this little teaser. Um, shit. Uh, here. <laughs> so yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Watch Best Aloha Gang. Stay tuned for more about the new GTA thing. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Oh yeah, I, did I report this already? That Demon Disciples is cancelled. Probably, but I'm not going to do what I did with Crazy With Ink and just delete all the episodes. I shouldn't have done that for Crazy With Ink. But, we have some plans for uh, another GTA show. Well, I don't know if it's going to be a show. We're not sure yet, but, see you guys in the next video. Uh, well, next talking video. When was my last video where I did just a commentary? I think it was, what? Mm. I don't even know. It's probably one of my playthroughs. Shit. So, have fun. Be a good person. Stay indoors. Don't catch COVID. Unless by the time I upload this, COVID's just not a thing anymore. I'm literally probably going to upload this, like, tomorrow. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... <laughs> That's the Loha Gang teaser starting now. I just gotta make it first. So I'm probably gonna make it and then make this video and shit. So, see you guys later. Next video. Gonna be Vest Loha Gang 301. Okay, why am I still talking? See you next time. Subscribe, like, comment, all that shit. See ya. You look so good, you broke the goddamn mirror. Not another step closer. Just go home and we can all live our lives in peace. Springfield rifle pointed raw at the bloody door. I don't think I'm gonna take my chances on walking into the front door. <sighs> but you know what I'm here for, obviously. And it's going to happen, night. So, either it's gonna, you're just gonna let it happen, or I'm gonna have to force it. What are my new orders? Here's this little again. Get me each and every one of those fuckers. And leave that jack kid alive. It doesn't matter how long. Just get them to me. Still love in a simple way. And if you didn't know while I'm still standing, you just fade away. Don't you know?